here with Natman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes year round. Today is the final installment of Frozen Week which really rolled into this week, but that's okay. It's just all my frozen boxes lined up one after another. And I'm excited about this one because it's a sister's box. So I had to have one side representing Elsa with the blue bow and a blue earring. I know it's hard to tell, but I love it. And this side representing Anna with a lilac bow and a purple earring because I just love dressing up for my boxes. So here she is, the box for a little girl aged two to four. And I thought this was the perfect shoe box to use for a frozen theme. It's all Elsa blue and it has that shine to the top. Um, I really don't know where this box came from. I think maybe Matt's grandma gave it to me. Um, but anyway, it's just a regular old shoe box. And then I put some packaging over here on the end for her. I love it. Let's get in. I'm gonna take off this 107 rubber band. Items that are in here that I know where they came from will be linked below in case you wanna include them in your box. Like this rubber band. So, right on top here. This is what she will see. This is her letter. I have taped it to the inside of the lid. Here is our handwritten note. And here is the translation. I have to be honest about this box. <laughs> um, one of these things you've already seen. And after I shot the video, I thought, maybe that's better suited for a little girl aged two to four. So, also after I shot that, box I realized that I had forgot to put a bag in it so she can get all of her goodies home so I took out an item from my Elsa box and put a reusable bag in its place so she can take her items home and then I put that item into this sister's box because I know in my heart that it's just meant for this little girl age two to four so don't feel bad if you have your boxes all packed and at the very last minute you want to add something or take something away or switch things around. Just listen to your heart and let it guide you to what needs to be in each box. So let's get started. Here is what she will see. It's really not that exciting up top, but that's because I am protecting things. So here is her coloring book and we'll start with that because you can see it and it's colorful. Um, it is a sister's coloring book and I love it. I thought this was perfect for a little girl age two to four, showing how much these sisters love one another. And then it's just basic coloring in here. Um, I, you know, standard frozen coloring book. I love it. So these two things right on top here, this is what you have already seen. It's the ribbon dancer. I know it was beautiful, but in the original um, Elsa one, she kind of had two ribbon dancers. So I took out the one that I thought was better suited for age two to four, and I left in the one that was better for like five to nine, the one that was on the fairy wand, so cute. And she still has one to play with. But now, since this one is a sister's box, she will have two to play with. You've already seen this one, so I'll just give you kind of a sneak peek. Um, these were contributed by Tracy. She made them herself. Thank you so much, girl. Um, you get to see it again. And this is the Elsa one. It's so beautiful. And around the ring, she included a little Elsa charm and two snowflakes. So I'm gonna close this one back up and then I'm gonna get the Anna one out because I think it's even more beautiful. So here is the Anna one, and this is a really good way to pack your ribbon dancers if um, you want to keep them all safe. This was Tracy's idea, and it takes up no more room because it's just a thin piece of tissue paper, but it keeps it from getting all tangled up in all the little gadgets and gizmos inside the box. So here is her Anna. Guys, I love it. It's so beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. 
it the the video is not doing it justice at all but there's purple tool and some really pretty teal silk ribbons and this beautiful Anna figurine so she she took all the colors from Anna's outfit this ribbon is my favorite guys I don't know I think it's the black in there that just makes it look so rich and beautiful but it's per perfect it has purples and blues and a little bit of black which make those colors shine and pop and then she has attached all of those beautiful things to the top of a heart bracelet for the ring these you can get at Dollar Tree or a lot of times after Valentine's clearance. These are around a lot, so keep a lookout. And this beautiful ribbon dancer is part of her wow item. She gets two, two to play with in this beautiful sister's box. So thank you so much, Tracy. I was so blessed when you sent this to me to get to include this in my boxes. And I think this little girl is just going to have hours and hours of dancing play with her um, ribbon dancers and she can even share with a sibling or a friend or her mom or someone that is around her. Okay, now look at all of these other fun items. I don't want them to spill out, but here is what the box looks like now. These are so fun. Look at these little people. Aren't they cute? They're Fisher Price little people. There is an Anna and an Elsa, and they are such great quality. These were contributed by Valerie. Thank you so much, Valerie. I finally get to show off the rest of the little people for this sister's box. I also found this magic towel at Dollar Tree. It is a heart, and it's the sisters hugging each other, so cute. I did go ahead and put it in a baggie as kind of a hygiene kit. Then I found this little stocking on after Christmas clearance for like five cents, so I had to pick it up. And I stuffed in the top a little snogi. Isn't he cute? And he was contributed by Lynette. So thank you, Lynette, for this little snogi. And I also put down in here two slap bracelets, a purple and a blue, one for Elsa and one for Anna. And they both are rulers on the back in two measuring systems. So that is so much fun. Um, I saw Carol from OCC Land also had this stocking in her frozen box. I have included, just like in all of my other boxes, this set of foam stickers that I got an after Christmas clearance from Michaels and just split them up among the boxes. So much sparkly fun there. Here is her fun little um, coin purse and inside of it I have stuffed jewelry. She has one fun blue necklace and one fun purple necklace and they just fit perfectly in this little white sparkly coin purse. I got this coin purse at Dollar General on after summer clearance last year. And these necklaces come actually in a set of three. There's also a pink one that comes with them around Christmas time at Dollar Tree. I don't know why they're only there at Christmas time, um, but that's when I find them in a set of three at Dollar Tree. So I'll be curious this year if they bring them back out now that they've gone up in price if maybe they include a ring or something else or if they're still just the set of three. So let's be on the lookout. Let's scope it out together. Then I have included this little hair kit. So this side is all icy blue um, for Elsa. And then here's the sister's bow. And this side is all purple for Anna. Let me show you just a sneak peek. Some of the stuff is pretty basic. Random hair ties, um, standard clips, but I do want to show you the fun things. This is the pretty iridescent sister's bow that I have included. Here is, because it is for a two to four year old, so I included this. Um, it's more for younger girlies. This headband with a bow already attached, kind of representing Elsa. And then here is her bow representing Anna. And if you've seen the channel, you know what I do. I put it on 
a stretchy headband, so no matter her hair length, she can still enjoy the hair accessories that we have provided for her. So that is her hair kit, along with the other random accessories in there. So much fun to be had. Also, her water bottle. I haven't gotten to include very many water bottles this year, and it's one of my go-to things. Um, this water bottle I actually got at Dollar Tree, and I'm pleasantly surprised. It's decent quality. It does have a little bit of a give, but I like that it is a pop top, and they were two, a set of two for $1.25. Um, I have not seen them since I got this one, and it was all by its lonesome, just kind of in the middle of the wrong aisle, and I picked it up. The only thing that's kind of a bummer is that the lid hole is kind of smaller, but it's still big enough that I could pack it full. We'll open this at the very end so that these items don't go sprawling out all over my table because girl doesn't need any help. I make a mess every time anyway. Here we go, here we go. Don't let me forget, because sometimes I get to the end and I forgot the water bottle, so don't let me forget. I have also included a watch for her. It's so much fun, and I think that it is one of the light up ones. Yeah, see it lighting up there, and it has lots of Olaf's all over it, and oop, focus, and the sisters in there. Perfect for a two to four year old. Hold on a moment, I need to discipline a cat. Trilla, get down. She's not listening. She's on the counters. Oh, fur babies. I love them so much. I really do. I really do. Trilla, get down. Get down. She's as stubborn as I am. One more time and then I'm gonna give up. Trilla, get down. Nope. I give up. Okay, I also love to include these flashlights in all of my boxes. This is a purple one that I actually got from Dollar Tree around Christmas time. Here is her bag that I have included. It's nice and flat. It's a drawstring bag. I actually got this at Hobby Lobby and it says, always be kind and it has little flowers on it so I thought the pretty blue color represented Elsa and I thought that the flowers represented Anna just perfectly so it was the perfect mixture of both sisters to go in this bag this is in the Playside Creations area and I believe you get three drawstring bags for about five dollars regularly but if you go at when it's 50% off you can get them for like 250. Don't quote me on that, but those are rough estimates. Ooh, okay. Here is her pencil case. It is a little bit smaller because it's for an age two to four. So these are items that will help her learn dexterity, help her learn her ABCs and her one, two, threes before going to actual school. And if she takes care of them for the next few years, they could even um, follow her into grade school. So let's take a look at what we included. Um, she does have a click pin here. And I was able to provide her with a purple and a blue marker. I thought that was a lot of fun. I know this is kind of small for a two to four year old, but um, I wanted to give them to her anyway. She has a pair of scissors. She has some um, number two pencils. I'm trying to find one, here it is. And I went ahead and included this gripper eraser down at the bottom just to help her put her little fingers around the pencil as she's learning. Um, I've included a pencil sharpener, an eraser, and this set of crayons that was Elsa and Anna. I love it. I got this three pack at Dollar Tree. One was Elsa, one was Anna, and one was Sisters. So it went perfectly with my frozen boxes this year. And that is her smaller, but got the essentials covered, um, school supplies. Now I wanna show you this. This is what she sees now. How much fun! So fun! This, guys, 
I am so blessed. This was contributed by Melody. Melody handmade this beautiful pillowcase dress. I'm gonna open it because I want you to see how perfect it is for this box and for this little girl. So many wow items, but here it is. Beautiful blue on top. This really pretty um, pattern. It's like very Scandinavian, right? Which is perfect for Frozen. Again, so cute. But here's the piece de resistance. Is the ribbon, look. It's Elsa ribbon. Can you see Elsa and Anna? The light blue one, which is kind of hard to see. It's the silhouette of Elsa. And the dark blue one is the silhouette of Anna. And it's just gorgeous. Perfect for this little girl. Thank you so much, Melody, for your hard work and your beautiful craftsmanship and for allowing me to get to share your creation um, with YouTube, but really with this little girl. So thank you so much for creating this beautiful pillowcase dress for Frozen. I love it, love it, love it. And that's what really, that and the little people is what really defined this box for me. Um, how I collect items throughout the year is I just search the sales. People donate things and I kind of put them together in, um, in my storage area under each theme. And as the theme gathers more and more items, the box tells me what it's gonna be. And this one told me it was gonna be for a little girl age two to four. It just kind of comes together like that. So I don't really sit down at the beginning of the year and plan out how many I'm gonna do of each age or how much I'm gonna do of each gender. I just let the items tell me what box they go in. And that's my personal preference on how I pack my boxes. So rant over. Next thing is this adorable bunny. Isn't she so cute? She has that beautiful Elsa blue ears and the feet. I love this. They made it look like toes. It's really just a thick corduroy pattern and it's she is so soft. I got this at Walmart, I believe. Let me see if it says it doesn't say, um, I cut all the tags off so I don't send trash to the kiddos, but um, at after Easter clearance, and I just think that she's the perfect soft stuffy to go in this box. And then this plate, I love it. I did have to go, I, it wouldn't fit in like a regular OCC box, so that's why I used a regular from my closet shoe box, um, but I was able to fit this beautiful plate, which was actually contributed to me from a neighbor. So I'm very grateful for this plate that's just perfect for Elsa and Anna. And if she has no need for a plate, then she can use this to play. Um, play house, to play cook, to play chef. So much fun can be had with this little plate. Few more things stuffed down in the bottom. Here is her chalk. Also, after Easter clearance, she has one with Elsa and one with Anna, and there are the chalk colors. There's a pink and a purple, and I went ahead and put them in a Ziploc baggie so that the chalk dust doesn't get on the other things in the box. And I made sure to make it a really nice, reusable, resealable bag in case um, she needs to use it for other things in the future. And then, Faithful, faithful trio here. This is a toothbrush from Walmart. It is a Dr. Fresh toothbrush. You get a pack of five for $1, and then you have to provide the toothbrush caps. But I love how the colors came out on this one perfectly. I didn't do this. It was already in my stash, just like this. And I thought, Destiny, meant to be the purple for Anna and the blue for Elsa. And then I included a pink Ikea spoon for her. The reason that I use spoons is because I personally think you can eat, if you're determined enough, you could eat anything with a spoon, anything from soups or rices, which are popular in many nations, to meats and casseroles that we eat more in like the European nations and um, Northern America. So I opt for a spoon to go in my boxes. And then I had to include this really pretty purpley pink <laughs> rat tail comb because these kind of combs help girls make parts in their hair 
and braid their hair more easily. So, um, and the comb part, any type of hair can be brushed with a comb. So that's why I picked a rat tail comb for this box. And now we are down to her flat items here. Let me show you. This is her book. Look, it's the sisters. It says Land of Snow and Ice. And then it talks about the lovely kingdom and that they are sisters. I know that it could be confusing if you don't know the story to just see these two girls hugging on each other and not knowing their relationship, if they're just friends or if they're cousins or, but hopefully this book will help her know that they are sisters. So she'll know this is a sister's box. Here is the story about Anna. Here is the story about Elsa. And then they even include some of the other um, characters in there. But I loved this book. I got this at Dollar Tree. Now I couldn't include a full composition notebook. Her box was just too full. But since she is a toddler, um, I figured this pad of paper will work just well for her doodling and her scribbles that are so important for her, the dexterity of her fingers and just learning how to write and draw and color. I also have included this really fun comic book. I know it's a little above her age range, but I had to. I had to because the artwork is so beautiful and the stories inside can help tell the story of Frozen, even if she can't read, the pictures are so detailed that you don't really need the words to know what is going on. And it helps her to get to know these sisters and their character very well. So I included this also from Dollar Tree. And the very last thing in here is kind of twofold. It is a pad of stickers that has Elsa and Anna on it as sisters, but I've also included some goodies of our own in here. Let me go through that really quick before I show you the stickers. Here is her stack of goodies. This is from a kit that I bought at Dollar Tree that had all kinds of images on it. I think like 15 or 16 images and some markers. I put the markers and other images in other boxes, but this one gets this felt image of Elsa and Anna together. This regular coloring page of Elsa and Anna. I think they're so pretty in this one. And this little image of the fire lizard. He's so cute. Um, she has some fake tattoos here. A set, oh gosh, okay. A set of Valentines. I gave her a whole sheet in case she wants to give some to her friends or decorate her room or a locker. Well, I guess at two to four, she wouldn't have a locker. Decorate her space or give them out as gifts. A set of circle stickers. And the last thing on here is part of the window cling. This one had Elsa and Anna and Olaf on it and I thought that it just was perfect. So the last thing down in the very bottom of the box is this sticker sheet. This is one of the other things that I still really like to get at Dollar Tree is stickers. Seems like a great deal to me to get 150 stickers for $1.25. So this one is very sparkly. This one has a giant one of Elsa. This one has a giant one of the sisters. I love it. And the last page has a giant one of Anna. A perfect addition to this box. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this frozen journey with me. I had so much fun. It was fun to see the other creators that happen to have frozen boxes do theirs as well. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, I will link some below that I know about. And oh, the water bottle. Thank you for reminding me. I was about to say goodbye and you were gonna miss out on this jam-packed, beautiful water bottle. Okay, let me, let me make space for it here. Okay, so like I said, I got the water bottle, bottle at Dollar Tree too for $1.25. Here is her lanyard. I got them for 99 cents at Party City and it has both sisters on it. 
I attached this whistle contributed by Angie. Thank you so much, Angie. So much stuff, so much stuff. Okay, here is one of her cars. This one is for Elsa. It's so beautiful. It's actually an Elsa car and I put a little bit of the packaging on the bottom so she would see it. Let me see if I can get the other car out right now. This is the car from my stash that I picked to represent Anna. I think it did a pretty good job. It has this really pretty detail on the back that reminded me of her dress and her colors. So here are her cars and I think that they represent the sisters really well. I also have included this fun princess ring in Elsa blue, this fun googly ring because they are so fun, Google Eyes. I have included, okay, there we go. This other little mini hygiene kit in here. This side, this has her purple chapstick and nail file and nail clippers contributed by Angie. And I just threw in some extra safety pins in case she needs them in the future. And then the very last things in here. Okay, he's got to do a little jiggle. There we go. Is her cross because I like to send something um, to represent our faith in every box. And of course, an Olaf keychain. This is the smallest little figurine that I sent, but I figured since it was attached to this keychain, it wasn't really a choking hazard because all in all, it's about the size you know, three or four inches. So that is truly the last thing in this box. Again, I had so much fun with Frozen Week. I'm going to link the stuff below for you to see other creators who did Frozen Boxes this week. And that's it. I do have some fun things coming up. I'm gonna do a collab with other nations so we can talk about what is not allowed in each box, in boxes from different nations. And I have one coming up where I went to stores and bought things for a box currently. Not my year round shopping, no bulk buying, just the stuff that was available in the store for me on that day to go in a box because I know that's how so many of you pack your boxes and I think it's great. And I just wanted to see what it was like comparing where I found the good deals, what I bought, how much it ended up costing, how long it took me, and just a few tips and tricks. So stay tuned for those videos coming in the future. And in case no one has told you guys, I love you a lot. Bye.